How you doing? Are you getting cold? No, I'm fine. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You know, you never cease to amaze me. Why? What'd I do this time? It's what you always do. You're always thinking about other people. Because I asked if you were cold? No. What? No, I'm serious here. You happen to be a very considerate man. Sometimes. All the time. Whenever I think about you, things you've said or things you've done, I don't know what it is. You're real. You know? I guess I'm not used to that. Well, if being real means that I don't play games with people, yeah, I guess that's me. So you don't like people who play games, huh? No, not really. You know, sometimes people nowadays feel like they have to play games to protect themselves or just get by. You don't have to play games. It just comes down to who you really are. And the important stuff. The important stuff? Yeah, the important stuff. She's okay, but you have to come with me, Molly. She's behind the church. She's hurt. It's serious. Come on. She's in pretty bad shape. I need to get a doctor and some more equipment back here. Will she be okay? I can't tell. Stay with her, all right? Oh, Molly, I can hear it's Jack. Oh, Molly's been in an accident. You've been hurt. There's no telling how bad yet, but there's help on the way, all right? So just hang tight. Well, the paramedics couldn't tell me the thing. Went to go get a doctor. Oh my God! Oh. What happened to her? I don't know, but the fire didn't do this to her. Someone beat her bad. Oh. Oh. Wow. I'm sorry. You do get right to the point, don't you? I'm sorry. Uh, what for? I'm moving too fast, huh? Maybe. But don't be sorry. I'm out of practice. Could have fooled me. No, I mean at, uh, reading signs. I, I really thought you wanted me to... I did. So what's I'm the matter? Not, Why? I'm not, I'm not used to the idea of us yet. Oh, this is pretty new, isn't it? Look how I like you. Oh, I feel a butt coming on. Okay, go ahead. Tell me I'm a big boy. I can take it. No, no, don't get me wrong. You're one of the best kissers ever. Thanks. And... But... You... You read the signals perfectly. But... But... I just wasn't expecting how kissing you would make me feel. Good kisses make you feel bad? No. Make me feel good. So then what? I don't get it. Look, I like you. And like I've said before, you're nice. You, you, you're probably the nicest man I've ever gone out with. What? Where are you going? Oh, Carly, when you're on a lonely road under a starlit sky with a beautiful girl, nice is not the word you're looking for. Sit down. Sit down. Nice is good. Nice is sexy. When you've been out with some of the heels I've been out with, nice is a real turn on. I haven't wanted to be nice to anybody in a long time. Oh, I don't believe that. That's true. Ask any of the girls at this station. So what's so different about tonight, then? I don't know, but when I'm with you, nice comes real natural. You don't you don't know everything about me. 
You don't know me very well at all. Well, Carly, I think I know what I need to know, and I like what I know. Well, it's a big world out there. Helen, I, I've seen most of it. I've been around the block, too, Carly. Cops see a lot, and what we don't see, we hear about, believe me. But if you're saying we need to get better acquainted, okay, go on. So what, you want me to just spill my life story right here, right now, just like that? No. But I do have something in mind that would be nice. Oh, great. Now, you How do sound do... like some of the guys I've dated. No, no, no. I'm not talking about that. How does... How speckled trout sound to you? Like a skin disease? Not the way I cook them. Oh, the fish. Well, how... How's a speckled trout gonna get us to know each other better? Well, I've got a friend. He's got a cabin up on Lake Michigan, about two and a half hours from here. It's got a hot tub, it's got a fireplace. It'll have you, it'll have me, it'll be nice. Mm. Sounds too good to be true. We can tell each other our life stories till the cows come home. If I told you my whole life story, you probably would never want to speak to me again. Carly. I could say the same thing about me. But I'm willing to take the chance. She's been beaten really bad. She's lucky she was as far away from the fire as she was. Lieutenant! Margaret Hughes, she went in after you told her not to. I just heard her calling for help. Let's get her into the first ambulance. the lily you know what she'll do she'll turn you against you me. listen to me all right i do not ever want to see your face again i do not want you to ever come near lily in me again you got to now go away i got no place to go holden i just want to be with you and we can be together as long as you don't go in that church give it up molly i'm not gonna give up would you let go of me i'm not letting go and i'm not gonna let lily have you either. come anywhere near me and i will kill you <laughs> coming around. Molly? Molly? Don't, don't try to talk. You better get out of the way, sir. Something, something doesn't add up here. Does it, something doesn't make sense. What do you mean? She's that close to the fire. She doesn't have one mark on her, one, not one burn. Well, the fire was above her. She was on the ground. It's just weird. Obviously, somebody beat her up. Who could have done that to her, Holden? Uh, everybody's got a past, Carly. I'm not afraid to hear about yours. And we can talk about the future, too, if that's what you want. But you know what? None of that means anything to me. All I care about is right now. How do you feel about me right now? I think you're a pretty incredible guy. Good answer. So what's the problem? Just, I don't want you to get hurt. What are you going to do? Take advantage of my good looks, marry me for my money? I can take care of myself, Carly. I don't want to disappoint you, Hal. You couldn't. I'm going to get just what I want out of this relationship. Or whatever you want to call it. What is it you want? What is it? Milltown Baptist Church. My God, it's on fire. The whole town is here. We gotta get to Dickinson Road right away. Contractor, possible orbital. I need someone from ENT and plastic. I just got the call. Fill me in. Right, most of the worst cases are on their way to the hospital. 
I don't know how much they're going to save of this old church, though. It's pretty much burned down to the ground. Any idea how it started? No, no. Somebody said there's a shed in the back. I think it might have started there, because they didn't notice it until it was too late. Where have you guys been? I thought they contacted you right away. My car is out on River Road with the dead battery. I just found out about this. I hope everybody got out all right. A lot of people were hurt, Carly, including Molly. Molly's hurt? How bad? I'm not sure, but she didn't look good. She should probably get to the hospital right away. Carol, I'm going to take your squad car. You and the others stay here, finish up. Report to me at the hospital ASAP. Come on, Carly. Oh, Lord, what a horrible, horrible thing to have happened. Hey. Oh, no. Hi. Hey, doctors told me you were in here. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that Molly was going to be okay. I, uh, I tried to call Carly, but there was no answer. How's Lucinda? Uh, she's going to be fine. Oh, she has good. a twisted ankle, but they're going to give her x-rays yeah. just in case. But she's in full voice. She's telling everybody to take care of her son. How is David? He's not doing too good. You know, I don't think I'll ever really like the guy, but he did save my mother's life. I'll always be grateful for them. I think I'm going to try and call Carly again, okay? okay? okay. Be right back. I hope she's going to be, uh, be all right. Right before the concert, I had another fight with Molly. And I said some things. I don't know where they came from. She knows how to push your buttons. Yeah, but there's no reason for the way I acted. After what happened, I just took off. Well, at least you walked away. Yeah, but if I had stayed there and yeah. tried to work things out, Holden, maybe none of this would have you happened. You cannot have predicted what was going to happen. Nothing you said and nothing that happened between you and Molly has anything to do with what she's going through right now. I hope you're right. Molly? What happened to her? Oh, wait, nobody knows. I found her behind the church. Look at her face. Someone beat the hell out of her. Who did this to her? Who did this to her? I don't know. I don't know. We just nobody knows. With her because get out. Was be... Just get out. We don't need your help. Fine. Hey, Jack. Some night, huh? <sighs> Tell me about it. How's Molly? Uh, not too good. Carly's in there with her now. Hey, looks like you all made it out okay. Yeah. yeah. No burns, no broken bones? Yeah, we got out before it started. All right. So, you guys have any idea how this all got started? Well, I talked to the fire marshal, and the short version is... We can't be sure, Ben, but... He's definitely not ruling out arson. Man. Arson? That's sick. We burned down a church. Hatred. What? You know, it's ironic. The church put this concert together not tonight to, to draw us all together, you know? Heal wounds, make friends, find peace. But if the fire marshal rules it's arson, then instead of healing, we stirred up suffering. All this pain, all these people got hurt because they wanted to celebrate something good. You. I'm here to make all your troubles go away. What, what? What are you doing with that? I should have finished you off when I had a chance. Oh, well. Better late than never. Cal's right. All you care about is putting an innocent man in jail. Forget about the fire. One thing has nothing to do with the other. How can you be so sure? All right, so... 
So what are we talking here? Conspiracy theories? Well, think about it. I mean, maybe the same guy who started the fire is the guy that beat Molly up. Maybe Molly saw the guy start the fire at the church. And maybe I'm your fairy godmother. All right, look. Anything is possible. The problem right now is that the fire department has not given us the final determination that it was arson. So you're not saying that you think it was an accident? No, what I'm saying is we can't put too many things in motion until we've got the proper legal framework. So you're just going to let him walk? Carly. No, you know, why should you be any different? After all, this is Lily's town. And hell, you know, it was just Molly who got her head bashed in. I'm sorry, Hal. That, that was unnecessary. No, it's, uh, it's all right. It comes with the territory. After what happened at the church, everybody's just real emotional. Thanks for understanding. Hal, I can see how it might be easy for you to believe Holden. what Carly's saying. Holden, I am not saying that I am letting you off the hook yet. You, you don't think you could actually do something? No, I thought I made this clear. This investigation is just getting started. Don't leave town. Wait, Hal. Billy, wait. wait. Look, once Molly wakes up, she will tell Hal who did this to her. And I'll be free and clear. What are you doing? Well, my job. Uh, who are you? I'm the only person in this whole damn town who cares about her. Oh. What were you doing with the IV? Oh, I was just checking to make sure it was flowing okay. So you're a nurse then? No, I'm, a, I'm an orderly. Then why? Uh, look, uh, since that church fire, the, the staff has been stretched to the limit. And we're all just trying to cover for each other, you know? Yeah, I guess. Look, don't worry about Molly. I'm going to stay here with her for a while. Sure, sure. She's lucky to have you here. Uh, I'll check back after a while. Mm -hmm. 